up with a Stuka uh, 148 scale JU87B. Again, an old kit, not not a newish one. Uh, let me put the bag down at the moment. And I'll get the details out of this. Uh, the decals are in here. There's that that can go in here. And uh, let's have a paint scheme now. Okay. Right, I'll leave that for a second. Have a look at the transfers again, or decals. Again, quite thin details on this. Uh, decals, I should say, not D2. Um, there's a lot of the small little transfer details. Uh, looking under the magnifying glasses that I'm wearing. You can read everything on there. They're absolutely brilliant, they are. For, well, for ethics, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, everything looks absolutely perfectly registered again. Uh, I don't know who's printing these. Uh, let's have a look at the destructions here. There's a separate sheet here as well, so uh, I'll pull out section 13. Again, 13. Why do okay, uh, cockpit detail. Looks to be very good cockpit detail um, from the instructions. And uh, again, there's going to be there's, there's going to be have to be a lot of painting done before assembly as well on this one. But typical instructions for Airfix. Uh, 148 scale Stuka. And uh, I'm sure other people have done it. There's a separate sheet here with. Uh, is it just the one sheet? It's just the one sheet here. Uh, you've got three types, you've got the um, France 1940, uh, Italy April 1941, and uh, Libya 1941 as well. Is that Libya? Yeah, Libya, sorry. Uh, the desert version here with a green camo as well. On it, um, I remember the very first one I built of these. It was the 124 scale one, and it had the snake all down the side of it. That was very awkward to do. Probably a bit too young to appreciate it, really. But I appreciate the aircraft itself. So let's open the bag up here. Have a look inside. Right, we've got the uh, canopy here, and uh, there is quite a bit of distortion in the rear canopy, but it's only the top round parts that are, are magnifying it. There's a bit of distortion on the front edge, but not so much. There's raised rivet detail on the uh, canopies as well. So they look alright. Good enough for 4 dollars <laughs> to say. Right, uh, you've got three sprues in this one. And have a look inside here. We've got some nice detail. Let me come in a bit. Oh, I can't see it now. Where is it there? Um, you've got some nice detail on the inside of both of the fuselages here. Um, you could do some nice work on that, and uh, I mean, I suppose you could get a photo etch and carve all that lot off and put the photo etch in. But for the price of this kit, I wouldn't bother. Um, details fine enough in there. You may be able to add a few wires and uh, such like in there, pipe work. But I would be happy with that as is. Uh, spinner has got raised rivets on as well uh, it's got lots of lots more instruments on the side here as well so there's plenty of detail in this kit uh, without having to go to extras the pilots are German pilots they are um, they've got that flat jacket on that uh, they wear it's like a 
like an old cork um, Mae West thing. <laughs> the old uh, sailors used to wear. Uh, there is a lot of flash on this kit again, um, but then again, the age of the kit, you, you, you know, you've got to expect something like that. Uh, again, the dashboard is raised detail, raised um, dials, but that's it, they're just blank uh, round discs. But you do have the um, dashboard on the decal to put on top of that. Uh, again, the, the detail on here is a bit heavy. Uh, the wings are nice, the wings are not too bad, but the tailplane is very heavily indented, not indented, uh, raised panel lining and all that on it, and uh, it looks to be very heavily marked. Uh, the wheel spats, they're nice, they're nice and uh, lightly marked. Uh, again, a lot of flash on the under, uh, not undercarriage, the um, the bomb release mechanism, so that has to be cleaned up. All in all, I'm just checking a date on these ones somewhere, they usually put a date on there. Sometimes it's on here, uh, on the nameplate, but it looks like it's a big thick band around there, so they might have machined it off. I would reckon this is probably again 70s or 80s late 70s early 80s no, but it's not too bad it's not too bad uh, at all and again like i said 4.99 what can you do what can you complain about that not nowadays anyway well this would probably be one of the first of the uh of the 48 scale ones i will build uh it'll t it's got a little bit of work to do on it to get it nice but uh, this and the spec five will probably be the first lot I will do of the 48 scale versions of this. So until then, until I build the kit, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I haven't bored pants off you. But uh, $4.99, oh, I, you know, I can't believe the prices I've got these for, really. And directly from Airfix, you know. So anyway, uh, that's the Stuka. See you all soon. Keep up the modelling. Bye for now.